Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and I'm going to show you how to pick up the stitches along the two sides of your heel flap that we are doing for Mystery Sock 12. I am currently at the point where I've finished my heel turn, and I've done the instructions that say to knit across, well, slip one, then knit across the remaining stitches on the heel flap. So now it's time to do the pickup. So before I start, let me just say that when we get done, what we want to have is all of these heel flap stitches on the heel needle, which is one needle if you're doing two circular or magic loop method like I use. Or if you're doing double pointed, you might have half of them on one needle and half of them on another needle. But these are all going to be considered heel stitches when we get done with the pickup. And then the front of leg stitches will be on the other needle. So you're gonna have far more stitches on the heel side than the front of leg side until we get to the gusset area where you'll be doing decreases to get rid of these extras. All right, so where are we gonna pick up these stitches? If you look closely at the very edge stitch on both sides of your heel flap, you'll see that you've got this big slipped stitch along here. So where you're going to insert your needle as you pick up is right underneath the two legs of that um, slipped stitch along the edge. And if you didn't slip the first stitch of every row, you'll just have a single stitch along the edge. That's fine too. You can go through both legs of that. You just will probably have to skip one between each pickup. So I'm doing size medium and the pattern says for me to pick up 15 stitches along the edge. So I'm gonna use my heel needle and just start in at the first one and I'm going to pick up, oh, I'm going to pick up my 15. And I, it's a lot like knitting. You insert the needle, you wrap it, and you bring it through to the front. So it's just kind of a one-handed affair here. That's three, four, five, Here's 10, sorry I'm so slow, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15, oops, 15, and that gets us down to this gap we have down here. So the next thing the instructions say is to pick up one in the gap. Well, where do you grab that stitch? Well, here's what I do, and I find it uh, seems to look very tidy when I get done. I look for, let me grab my other pointer here. I look for the stitch that's at the end of the front of leg needle, and I see where did that stitch come from. So it came out of this stitch. So what I do is I look for the one next to that, this one, and that's where I go in to get, to pick up that last gap stitch. So I'm gonna insert my needle right into that stitch and pull up the final one that we're picking up along here. So right into the middle of that one. Oops, lost it, sorry. There we go. And that way, as we're knitting around, that will cause this gap. I'm trying to get it to show here. To line up nicely as you're working across there. So the next thing the instructions are gonna have you do is work across the front, and I will do that, and then when I come back, we'll do the same thing going up the other side. I've worked my way across the top of foot stitches. 
Now we're going to pick up a stitch in the gap at the base of the other side of the heel flap. And again, we're going to grab the stitch that would continue on from where the top of foot left off. In that case, that's going to be this stitch right here. And we're gonna wrap and pull through. Now we're gonna get 15 up this side and we do it the same way as the other. We're going to go into the slipped stitch along the edge, get under both legs of it, and we're gonna get 15. Now again, if you don't have a slip stitch along the edge, that's fine if it's just a regular sized stitch. Pick up under the two legs of it the same way that I'm doing here, only you just might have to skip every other stitch. It won't show when you get to done that way, so it's not a problem. All right, what am I doing here? I have six in addition to my gap stitch. Ten. last one all right so what you want to see when you get done is that you've got a nice straight row of stitches next to where you've picked up it's very tidy looking and in the back You'll see you've got a row of stitches here as well. These are the slip stitches that were on the edge of my heel flap. And now the instructions will just have us continue working on the heel needles and we'll eventually be decreasing out some of these extra stitches as we build the gusset.